Hey guys, it's Peter and welcome back. Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a discussion video. A little bit, or is it a discussion video? Or is it an opinion video? I don't know, find out and see. Um, so what I'm gonna be talking about today is makeup gurus and my fanboying over Manny MUA and how I got there. Okay, because it's kind of a long road um, and it's interesting how I got there, so let me explain. All right, you're probably thinking to yourself, Peter, why are you doing a video about makeup gurus on YouTube? Like, what's your interest in this? I mean, look at you. You have like a trucker hat on and you have a beard and you obviously don't wear makeup and you just, uh, what's your interest in all of this? Okay, so third verse, same as the first. Flashback to years ago, I watched Gigi Gorgeous's channel um, when she was much younger and she, my, one of my very favorite videos that she ever did was her very, very, very first what's in my bag video. Um, and literally fell in love with her right from the beginning. I mean, just loved her online personality, loved everything about her. I had watched at the time, like, or not really watched, but followed the career of Jeffree Star, um, on MySpace going forward because he wasn't really a YouTube presence at that time. So for me, like, Gigi Gorgeous was, like, the first one that I watched that, like, um, did her favorites every month. And I love that she would, like, do, like, oh, this is my favorite cologne, and it's $275 a bottle, and then she'd throw it. I mean, I loved that stuff, okay? I thought it was hilarious. It just was so endearing to me. I was like, God, I wish she was my friend, on and on and on. Okay. So through the years, I have kind of continued to pick up certain people that I watch, um, but as negative as I think all of this drama has become on YouTube, I have to be honest, this is my confession moment, and say that I watch a lot of this drama go on. Like, I watch the videos. And what's interesting to me is there's always, like, five or six players with all of this drama that goes on in the makeup guru community or beauty community on YouTube. Um, so here's what it is. There's the makeup people over here, and then... There's the, the people that are like the beauty gurus, okay, of which there are many. And then, I mean, and we're talking like 30 million subscribers, not like 150 subscribers. Some of these gossip people. And then there's gossip people who think they're like that big, but they really aren't. Um, but I watch their videos anyway because they're hilarious to me. And like, for example, uh, Sanders Kennedy is one of those. I like, I watch all his videos. But he's a good point of, he's a good reason why I'm doing this video. So let me explain. So yesterday, Sanders, or two days ago, Sanders put up a video about Manny MUA's butt implants. Okay, now what's really funny if you haven't watched Sanders' videos is, so Sanders started off doing like um, Sephora hauls and makeup favorites and tag videos. And I looked, and then he met up with Trisha Paytas in New York City. Prior to that, his video got... 604 views. The next video that he did, which was something called like meeting up with Trisha Paytas in New York City, got 10,128 views. So that's an increase of about 9,500 views, right? That he got from one video to the next. So basically Trisha Paytas put him on the map. Um, I'm not a huge Trisha Paytas fan. You guys, like I, I like her stuff, but like, and I, and I watch her because I knew for a while, or she still is friends with Gigi Gorgeous. And so I'd see their interactions, but like this is not dogging Trisha Paytas. Hey, baby, do your thing. Do your gig. I get it. But, like, what are you making these extensive music videos about for who? <laughs> I, who's watching these music videos? I don't get it. So, apparently somebody, because she has, like, a shit ton of subscribers. And I do think she's gorgeous. I don't understand why some ma huge national line hasn't picked her up. Because she, to me, is totally like Anna, Anna Nicole Smith, who I loved. But, anyway, that's enough about Trisha Paytas. So that was the day before, and I watched this whole video, and the way that Sanders does videos is very much like, well, I'm going to tell you the tea about all this kind of stuff, and, you know, let me be very gossip columny. but then when you watch the video, he doesn't really say anything at all. Like, he doesn't really piss anybody else off, because you can tell he is so walking a thin line, because he so wants to be, like, accepted by these people, or like, I'm not going to piss Trisha off. Okay, I'm just going to tell you the truth. This is what happened. But then he never really tells you the truth about something. And it's like you're so confused watching the video. But the next time he puts up a video, you can't not watch it, right? Like because you want to know what he's going to say. 
And God love him. He just wants people to like him and wants attention and validation like the rest of us. So I get it, okay? So maybe there's a part of me that really deep down relates to Sanders. I don't know. I watch all his videos. But so the way that this all started was... <laughs> For me, that, doing this video, you guys are like, this is crazy. Well, I don't edit my videos. You know that, okay? So either get over it or whatever. Whew. So I have started watching Charles Gross's videos like a month ago. Do you guys know who Charles Gross is? So he's this rich kid of New York City, blah, 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 whatever. And he has all these videos about Birkin bags and whatever. And now there does all these story times about how he gives great blowjobs and all these people. And so I love Charles Gross. I love his videos, you guys. Okay, but he has like a serious fandom that comes for anybody that attacks them. Like all of these YouTubers do, right? And so he uh, did this video about sleeping with a fraternity guy. And I loved the video, it was very funny. Uh, and he talked about how I hooked up with him on Grindr and whatever, I mean, it is what it is. But the whole video, he talks about how he didn't know who this guy was. And at the end of it, he talked about how he looked him up on social media to make sure that he wasn't still in the same state. I'm like, you never even knew his name. So I commented on the video, right? totally, you know, like, naivete of me, right? And I commented and I said, how did you stalk him on social media if you didn't um, know his name? Confused, right? I need to tell you guys, like, 15 people came for me. And I was like, okay, so now I understand how this happens on the YouTube world, okay? Like, I have felt like somebody has thrown a feather at me. I can't imagine what it would be like to be Jeffree Star and have Kat Von D come for me. So let's go back, okay? About two months ago, or a month ago, or whenever all that Jeffree Star BS started, I just happened to come along this video by Karina Kaboom. Now let me tell you about Karina Kaboom, and she's probably going to make a video about me because she makes a video about anybody that comes for her because that's what her whole channel is about. People that are attacking her, she's a total victim, okay? And I don't play into the whole victim bullshit, I think it's crap. But I've watched a couple of her videos, and they're always like her sitting here, and she's like this. You can't even like see, like she's cut off in the camera. And she's like, let me tell you about the time that this person at this beauty store told me that I was the ugliest person they had ever seen. And then the whole video is about that, and she gets like 20,000 views a video or something. I don't know, but it's really sad. But it was like so sad. It's like watching toddlers and tiaras. You can't turn it off, you know, because you're like so rooting for the white trash mom in the back row. That's like, please, please let my daughter win so she can hold up the huge fan of dollar bills. It's like that, right? So I'm like watching this Karina Kaboom. And so then she comes up on Jeffree Star. And I'm like, okay, no, wait a second. Oh, no, there was a video about Jeffree Star and Ma Manny and UA. Well, I love Jeffree Star. But at the time, honestly, you guys, as much as I watch all these videos, I had no clue who Manny and UA was. So she starts talking about how Manny MUA came for Jeffree Star's rescue or something on Twitter the year before. And I'm like, who is this Manny MUA, right? So, you know, I look up Manny MUA on YouTube and I'm like, um, okay, I got it. I got it. This is a guy that always kind of has five o'clock shadow that does makeup. He's a makeup guru. He works for Mac, I think. Don't kill me if I'm wrong about that. All this kind of stuff. So I'm like, all right. So then all of a sudden I, okay, so I already followed Jeffree Star on Snapchat and I don't hate Jeffree Star. In fact, I don't care what really happened between he and Kat Von D. And I'm just going to be real honest about it. You know, like, he and Kat Von D were really close friends. Just think about this for a second. If you and your close friend had, like, some disagreement about something, even if it was a business disagreement, I've had a lot of business disagreements with friends of mine, trust me, okay? Where we said we were going to, like, rent a, or get an apartment, get an apartment, get a hotel room for a weekend and split it down the middle and then I never get their half. If I got on YouTube and talked about that and a million plus people came for me, like, I can't even imagine, okay? Like, that's just ridiculous. So, I'm sorry that this business deal all went down between Kat Von D and um, Jeffree Star. Keep your shit private. The only reason you're doing that is because you want more subscribers and more views and more people. It's not because you're, like, so have this need to tell on Jeffree Star. We all want to tell on somebody. That's what it's about. We all want to tell on somebody. And for me, what that really did was... It made me look down on Kat Von D, not Jeffree Star, because if it was me, I would have kept my mouth shut. And I have always thought that Kat Von D was such a classy lady. I don't know. Do you get on YouTube and tell your tell your best friend's trash? I mean, like, I don't care how true it is or not. Like, I didn't understand that. But do you see what's slowly happening to me? I'm getting caught up in all of this drama, right? Which before, I totally didn't understand how all these people get caught up in all of this drama. And so, 
I'm watching these videos. I'm like watching all of the Kat Von D, all of the Jeffree Star response videos. There's like millions of them because, you know, if there's like Sanders has like 150,000 subscribers, but there's like people that have like two subscribers that 150 subscribers. So if you want more subscribers, what do you do? You make a video about Kat Von D and Jeffree Star, right? I mean, obviously, I mean, it's not brain science. So anyway, they're doing all these videos and I'm like, I'm getting like more and more caught up in it. I'm like, oh, really? What? 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 I'm like all caught up in this shit, right? So then I was watching Jeffree Star Snapchats and they all went, he and Manny anyway, and Jeffree's boyfriend, who's Jeffree's boyfriend is fucking hot. Anyway, so they all, and he is, just let's be for real. And that relationship's not fake. You can totally tell. So, um... Anyway, they all went to like, I think Bali or Hawaii. No, they went to Hawaii before. So I think they went to Bali. And, um, and I love that Jeffree Star just like puts on a pair of bathing, like a bathing trunks and like goes out there with like no makeup on. And his, he's like snorkeling with like, I, I love Jeffree Star. So anyway, and I know he's probably a shit to everybody, but he seems very real on the stuff that he does. And he doesn't make excuses. So whatever. I mean, I don't know Jeffree Star. Zip it. But anyway, I'm watching it and I'm thinking... Manny MUA, Manny, your butt looks good. Have you been doing some squats or what's going on? So then last night I'm watching and Sanders puts up this video called uh, Manny MUA butt implants or something like that. And I'm like, uh, is this what this is about? Um, is this, okay. And so let me tell you what's so funny about this. This is the deep, this is like going into the deep, deep web. Okay. The other day I was on Facebook and somebody put on, and I never get on Facebook anymore. Somebody put this comment about those two twins that play the secret sweet life of Zack and Cody on the Disney channel. And it was like, where are they now? And so I went to this uh, like article and then I went to this article and then I went to this article and then that took me to all these different articles about these two kids. That took me to Selena Gomez articles and then an article about Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. And then I was watching a YouTube response video about Justin Bieber and something he did and something he said and all this kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, two hours has gone by and I have wasted my life starting with the twins who played on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I'm 44 years old. What is wrong with that picture? <laughs> and this is what happens to me on YouTube, you guys. I don't hate any of these people. I don't even hate that Karina Kaboom. But I'm like, I don't understand why my life is so boring that I get infatuated with these people. And what's really happened that's so funny is it's kind of like this mutual parasitic relationship because you can tell that Sanders just wants to get famous. I mean, he even says like, I'm willing to lose a friend, Trisha Paytas, um, over you guys. Cause like he considers his fandom like such close friends and Hey, I get it. Okay. Like, I mean, it's nice to have 150 people standing behind you. I don't know that I would lose a really important friend like Trisha Paytas. She's got like 10 million people standing behind her. <laughs> Do the math. But anyway, I love his videos and I don't hate him for it. And he does a video about Manny MUA having butt implants, which if he does, it wouldn't go against anything that anybody would believe about him. I mean, he's a beauty guru, you guys. But it just makes me want to watch him more and watch his Snapchats and fanboy over him because fanboy at 44. Because I love him and I love everything he does and he's just so kind of genuine and I love Manny and I would never have found Manny had it not been for Sanders and Karina Kaboom. So it's this mutual relationship that works out of all of this beauty guru drama that happens on YouTube. And I think it's just fabulous. I love it. So could somebody please start another one of these channels? And so I can find the next people to find. I mean, like watching this video about Trisha Paytas last night being a liar that Sanders put up. I also found out, I mean, I had watched her videos before, but Stepanka, Stephanie, like I had never really watched any of her videos. And I like binge watched her videos last night and they're all hate. Too. This is what happens. All these people start off doing like beauty videos, but they realize they're not going to ever be huge. So they switch and they become gossip videos. And that's fine. I mean, I love that stuff. It's so hilarious. And you guys love watching gossip videos. I do. Gossip Girl XOXO. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for all of those uh, wonderful videos that you guys have done that have led me to finding some absolutely amazing, what should I say, characters on YouTube. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.